One of the things I noticed, especially at the beginning of COVID, was how the people in my life who were really on purpose mm -hmm. and were truly living a purpose-centered life were very sustained by that sense of purpose. Yep. It made them resilient. It They were agile. Yep. They were available to inspiration they were reinventing themselves often yep. like everybody else like you know like my friend who ran the restaurant who was now doing a takeaway service right you know because you know that's what you had to do at the beginning of covid wasn't yep. it like you know you had to go from people sitting in your restaurant to home delivery well i'll send the food out to everybody i found that people who were on purpose were very very resilient and i was really inspired yep. by that and they were working with COVID as an invitation. Yeah, that's what we did, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I wonder what we need to pivot next with. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> How do we yeah. serve? We have to find a different way. It was almost inspiring. It felt inspiring yeah. and scary, yeah, absolutely. but inspiring. <laughs> exactly. It was scared. We were as scared as everybody else, but somehow we could call upon that greater sense of purpose to uh -huh. support us. Now, at the same time, there were other people in my life who weren't so purpose-centered, if you like. But what I noticed was they were starting to talk about purpose and meaning. And they yep. were starting to talk about, well, hold on, now that I've got all this free time, you know, maybe I would like to start painting a bit more. And maybe I would like to spend some time in the garden. Hey, and I don't have to do that commute anymore. And I don't have to go into the office and do that job that I don't like. But hey, it pays the bills. You know, and yeah. so there was this new conversation emerging as well around purpose and meaning and living a life, you know, we love rather than one that we just have to get through. Okay, if you like this podcast and you want to see more, just click over here and you'll get to see more clips from this interview. If you just want to listen, well, if you click there, you'll listen to the entire interview available to you on any one of your favorite podcast channels.